Hello, this is a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S6. It's available in 32, 64, or 128 gig. And this is packing in an awful lot of pretty cool technology. Setup is very easy. And on the top, you've got an IR blaster around the side. You've just got a screen lock, and that's also where you put the nano SIM card. On the bottom, you've got the speaker, charger, and headphone out. Around the other side, you've got the volume button. Around the back, you've got a 16 megapixel camera, a flash, and also a sensor for things like the heart rate monitor, which I'll come back to later. The camera sticks out a little bit, but it's not too bad in the hand. This also has a fingerprint scanner, and while it takes a little bit of time to get set up, it's well worth doing because it means it's very quick and easy then to unlock your handset. And you can also add on a second fingerprint if you want someone else to access your phone. In use, the fingerprint scanner works really well and unlocks the phone very quickly. Once I powered this up, it's upgraded a couple of times and it's now an Android 6.0.1 and it runs it really well, it's really nice and smooth. The screen is absolutely gorgeous, 5.1 inch screen, looks fantastic. And as you see, when you swipe all the way over, you get to Flipbook, which is a really cool little news app that aggregates lots of different news into one place. Samsung have pre-installed some pretty handy apps, including one that's the S Voice. Open calendar. And you can see there that allows you to do various commands. There's also an infrared remote built in, so you can control your TV and amp, things like that. You can change the channel and you can even turn everything off with the push of a button. The camera on this is really good. I was very impressed with the camera. You can just press the main home key twice and that opens up the camera and it, there's no lag to it at all. And it's got loads of different features. And I think the pitch quality is fantastic. It comes through with lots of colors, some really nice detail so you can see the drops on the plants and the focusing is really good, good depth of field and you can pull focus to a particular spot as well. Video quality is also very good. It captures motion very well. Uh, our little black cat sometimes doesn't come out very well because of the uh, dark colors and the contrast, but here you can see it's done a great job of capturing it. So the speaker placement means that your hands might actually cover it and cause it to be muffled, although I've found that not to really be a problem. Gameplay on the S6 is absolutely fantastic. As I said before, the screen's absolutely gorgeous. You can see this has got no problems at all running Asphalt 8. It runs really slickly and it's just a joy to play on this. Similarly, Modern Combat 5 also ran brilliantly and the screen size is just about right to use on-screen controls without having your hands get in the way of the action. You can still see everything that's going on. Note that there's no SD card on this, but I did notice that I received 100 gig OneDrive space, so that's a little bit of consolation. You could put your photos on there instead of having them locally. As I mentioned before, there is also a sensor around the back so you can measure your health on this. So this is the heart rate sensor, it only takes a few seconds and it's measured your heart rate. It can do various other measurements as well and they all operate in the same way, which is bob your finger on the back and just wait for it to take a measurement. Depending on what you've chosen, you can also select whether you are standing sitting or what your current mood is and it logs that in the S Health app. So that's a really handy way of just keeping track of things. And if you take that, this out for a run, for example, you can then log your heart rate after you've been running. It all gets logged in the phone. And of course, you've got to remember this is a phone, so you can make and receive calls as well, but it just happens to do absolutely loads of other stuff. I really like the S6. I love the fingerprint scanner. It's great to unlock this without having to type in a passcode. All around, brilliant phone. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.